We're here at Sesame Drive at Texas State University and we're here to talk about the newly installed pedestrian hybrid beacon, how it operates and what to expect when you approach it since it's the first of its kind installed in the city of San Marcos. So Sesame is a very busy street. It has a high volume of vehicles as well as being a popular place for students to cross. But it was mid-block and there was no signs or crosswalk here. To make matters worse, there's limited sight distance for drivers coming around the curve on Sesame. So the city wanted to add a traffic control device to help move pedestrians and traffic safely and efficiently. We knew that simply adding crosswalk and signs alone would not provide a sufficient break in the traffic for pedestrians to cross safely. An engineering study deemed this location to not be appropriate for a traditional traffic signal being so close to the intersection with Pecos Street. So the city took a progressive and proactive approach by installing this pedestrian hybrid beacon. As a pedestrian, you can expect a very similar operation to a traditional traffic signal you will see a steady upraised hand, meaning don't walk. Push the button to activate and then wait for the walk symbol. When it turns to walk, you now have the right of way and it's time to cross the street. However, as with any time you cross the street, be sure to look out for vehicles. Make sure they have stopped for you to safely cross. When it goes to the flashing red upraised hand, you should complete your crossing if you've already started, but not start across the street if you're still on the sidewalk. The signal will then go back to the steady don't walk upraised hand until the push button is activated again. So while the pedestrian experience is very similar to a traditional traffic signal, the motorist will see a slightly different operation of the pedestrian hybrid beacon. Unlike the traditional signal, this beacon starts out dark. When it's dark, you may pass through this area just as you did previously without having to stop. Once the beacon is activated by a pedestrian who pushes the button, the beacon will start to flash yellow, warning motorists that the beacon has been activated. Next, it will change to steady yellow, like the traditional traffic signal, the steady yellow warns motorists that this light's about to turn red, so be prepared to stop. Next, it will turn to a steady red, and just like a traditional signal, this is a legal stoplight, so you must stop at the stop bar painted on the road. Steady red is the walk time for the pedestrians. Once the steady red is finished, the beacon will then alternate flashing red lights. This is different from a traditional signal, but it simply means you may now treat this like a stop sign. Once you've come to a complete stop and the pedestrians have cleared, you may proceed through the crosswalk. If you're the second car in line, the first has stopped and passed through, you too must stop, make sure it's clear, and then proceed through. If motorists don't know or have forgotten this operation, there's a sign on the mast arm instructing them that they may stop and then proceed. After the flashing red indication, the beacon turns dark again. At this point, motorists may proceed through the beacon just as you would a green light, but unlike a traditional signal, there will not be a green indication. If you approach this beacon and it's dark, you don't have to stop as long as no one is walking in the crosswalk. A benefit of the beacon is that it only operates when it's been activated, that is when a pedestrian has pushed the button. But remember, if you run the red light or fail to stop at the flashing red light, you have broken the law and you can and will be ticketed by law enforcement. But more importantly, this device was installed to protect the safety of our citizens and students. So please follow the law and observe this pedestrian hybrid beacon. This is another example of some of the innovative technology that the City of San Marcos has implemented to increase the safety for the citizens and students here. We're excited about this addition to our traffic signal system and look forward to it providing a safe crossing for years to come.